Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Uh, I'm out here in the country again, near Ojai, actually Santa Paula right now. And I had a story to tell about the voices that the land remembers. Um, here in Southern California, uh, there are still tracts of land that are like farmland, right? And uh, so I go and visit those if they're open to the public or like if they're near a public road and I can stop by. And I often find, now and again I find, that if the land is still enough, if there are no cars going by or like that, and if I ask questions of the land, um, the owners of the land who've tended it carefully and cared for it for their lifetime, like farmers sometimes who either are living or have already passed on, I'll hear their voices. Uh, it's as if the land itself remembers their voices and the love they had for the land and the trees and the sky. And I can hear their stories if I ask. Just now I was asking um, the person that owned this land that I often come and uh, bless the crops of. Um, I was asking it, oh, wh whether it owned the far mountain over there because it owned the mountains on the other side. And I could hear the, you know, I could hear the voice so gentle and deep and well-grounded, very slow, quiet voice, um, but very masculine, you know, very, very, uh, as if he took the land on as a great responsibility and that he was proud to have it and that he was proud to care for it, that kind of a feeling. And he said, no, that mountain there was owned by the other farm, and then he named the name of the people that used to own it. But he said, the people that own it now, they go by a different name. So just, I think, uh, for those of us that, that find ourselves able to take care of the land, as farmers or ranchers or like that, it's good to know that our noble thoughts regarding caring for the earth are remembered by her for for ages to come and it, and he can hear that wish to hear of the duty that we felt uh, towards earth's um, nurturing <laughs>